We can start now? Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Pascal Fernand, and this is my colleague, Elliot Peck Williamson. Hi, everyone. And Geoffrey Pelgrim. Hi. Welcome to our buyer from the USA, Mexico, Canada, and the Republic Dominican. Welcome, the winemaker from Champagne. So, each winemaker, we will have eight minutes to introduce themselves and present their Champagne. Buyer may choose to ask the winemaker question in private in the chat on the right of the screen or by mail. We also encourage live questions following each presentation. On the topic of sample, Elliot and I will be your contact for the logistic of this process. Do not hesitate to reach out to us directly regarding sample after the event. Now, I give the floor to Odile Charney joining us from Playa del Carmen in Mexico. <laughs> Hello, Pascal. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. So today is the Champagne Day. And uh, so just the usual recommendation is to keep your microphones off. And now we will start. Uh oh. And now we will start with uh, Sonia from uh, Champagne Eugène III, um, Champagne Bafrontac. Sonia, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Bonjour tout le monde. Hello, everybody. Thank you for taking part in our presentation for the COP of uh, Barouville in the Côte des Bas, uh, the region of the south of Champagne. I'll present you Champagne Eugène 3, Champagne Eugène 3, because, yeah, we are a COP and we have some brands, but this brand is uh, the brand I want to present you. Uh, first, our terroir, because our crop is located uh, very close to the Burgundy region, so uh, subsoil with calcaire, okay, and limestone, and with marl. Uh, the grapes, 90% of Pinot Noir and 10% of Chardonnay concerning the grapes that we are producing. And it's very important uh, to talk about the story, and it's true, uh, the daily life in Champagne is sought in the story of Cistercian monks, so the 12th century, because who is Eugène III? Uh, Eugène III was a monk uh, from the Clairvaux Abbey. It's a typical abbey uh, from the 12th century at 10 kilometers from here, because I'm here in the park. Uh, more in the VIP room uh, when we, we welcome all the year our customers from all over the world. Uh, and uh, Eugene Trois uh, explained uh, the packaging and the story of the brand Champagne Eugene Trois. So, concerning brands, uh, I will present you uh, it's a selection of five cuvies, okay. And uh, we'll explain you the specific style and personality of the, the wine from Cote de Bar. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, Eugène Trois. So, you have five uh, bottles, okay, here, five cubes. First, uh, it's traditional. And uh, you have a minimum of aging two years uh, on this for a non vintage and minimum six years for the vintage here, 2011. Each cuvee are brut, okay? A dosage between seven grams per liter or 10. It's a choice, okay? We want to keep the brut. And after in all the white bunch uh, cuvee we have for the other brands, we have extra brut on our dosage. But here it's only Good and very rare and very style and personality of terroir with the majority of Pinot Noir in each of uh, these today without Blanc de Blanc uh, because you know that it was only Chardonnay. So we'll start with the first cuvee, okay? And the first cuvee is the Brut Tradition, the Brut Tradition with 80% of Pinot Noir and 12% of Chardonnay. Majority harvest 2014, 
and the style of this puree is very consensual, but for us it's uh, very, it's the emblematic puree. It's a champagne for, we think, uh, for any time, for everybody, for anywhere, for all the celebration and parties, and ideal perfect for aperitif, very easy to drink, and uh, it's the first cuvee we sell all over the world because we have a production of this cuvee per year, 100,000 bottles, okay? So very fruitness and softness, and the dosage is 9 grams per liter of sugar, and uh, the minimum uh, of uh, aging is 4 years for this cuvee. And you can see the middle of gem surfing 91 points. This is for the first cuvee. And we can continue with the second, with the selection of the second cuvee. Uh, yeah, the blanc de noir. So the blanc de noir, it's very expressive. I think perhaps you know, but the Pueblo de Bain is very famous for that, for the blanc de noir, uh, thanks to a big production of Pinot Noir, because we have the subsoil for that. And the Blanc de Noir here, yeah, it's very racy, it's uh, uh, very rich, and we can find some uh, notes of more yellow fruits, uh, but uh, fresh fruits, huh? no dried fruits, you'll see on the vintage. For me, if the cuvee, very good for aperitif, okay, as uh, much better champagnes, but here, if you have one cuvee for pairing with a uh, meal, lunch, dinner, with roast beef or Indian food, it's this cuvee. And I think it's very interesting to test this cuvee uh, during the uh, dinner. And you can see the result of 91 points for James Surfing too. And uh, uh, Pinot Noir, and uh, we produce around uh, 15,000 uh, bottles per year for this. We can, let's start for the third cuvee, the rosé, okay, so for the selection of this rosé, it's a blending rosé, okay, not the rosé de Seigny, it's a blending rosé uh, from Harvest 2017, it's a mix, uh, majority Pinot Noir, and the rest is Chardonnay, 60-40. Uh, a champagne and a rosé, the style we want, it's a style very feminine with a, a beautiful bouquet of red fruits, not too sweet, because this rosé, the dosage is around 9 grams per liter, so less of 10, and before it was 14, 13, but now we want to keep all the fruits, but not too sweet. It's very important for us because we can use this champagne with a dessert, it could be an aperitif too, but if it, you use for a dessert, it's interesting with the uh, dessert, not too sweet, more with acidity, like a fruit pie, for example. And you can see the middle, gem setting 90 points for this period. And we can finish uh, with the fourth uh, puree. Uh, it's a vintage for it's very, very interesting, a crispy and smooth cube, like an old wine, you can see 2011. It's, I think, interesting because you keep the acidity of the champagne, but you have all the notes of uh, honey, dried fruits, and it's very gourmet. 60% of Pinot Noir and 40% of Chardonnay. It's very interesting. I don't know if I can tell you, but the price, it's very attractive because for this vintage, we have an export around 14, 15 uh, euros and very interesting. Uh, so the acidity and the pairing is very good with the front half and we offer the gift box because the style for the end of the year is uh, it's interesting. So it's for the special events, it's your career you have to use and you have to test. To finish with the selection of the wine, uh, don't hesitate if you have more, you said the dosage went from, to know, the dosage. I answer after now, the, the, the dosage went on this uh, so, concerning the marketing and the promotion, uh, the boxes are offered at the end of the year uh, for the for the orders, and uh, it's true 
we have already uh, promotion and uh, our wines distributed in some states, okay? And every year, uh, it's important for us to help you to promote and develop uh, the brand and the champagne thanks to PLV marketing uh, items. So, for example, glasses, apron for restaurants, and uh, we have gift boxes, we have uh, ice buckets and drop stops. So it's interesting to to give you this information because you need uh, help to promote and to to sell the new bond. Uh, so don't hesitate huh, to contact us because we can send you all the information about about that. And uh, um, already in US and Canada, not for the moment, but uh, for the states uh, to be transparent, we have a distribution in Florida, California, Washington DC, and Oregon. And I'm working with uh, two agents and uh, one sales manager in the US too. So we are present and uh, we can send you and help you to develop, uh, to develop uh, all the, the wines of the uh, Champagne region. I don't know the time, but uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you uh, if you need. More details on this date. I have to see and uh, put it by time. And uh, I heard 13 and 14 grams. No, sorry. Uh, concerning the dosage, it's here. Uh, the dosage between 7 to 10 grams. Okay, so, thank you very much, Sonia. Merci. It was interesting to learn about Eugene the third. You know, my Merci. father, my father was Eugene, and my mother is ah, Eugene. So that's okay. very. <laughs> All the Eugenes okay. in the family. <laughs> I am. Very weird name, by the way. Merci. Okay, thank you. Merci. So Merci. now we are. Sorry. I just wanted to ask for the next presentation if you whoever's presenting, um, if they. Uh, so Josh and Lisa, if they can um, just uh, say next slide for the slides. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. So George and Lisa, the floor is yours. Hello, I'm George. I'm the manager of the Champagne Charles Clément. And I'm Lisa. I'm the export manager. And we are hoping uh, everyone is okay during this pandemic. And we are very happy to have this opportunity, thanks to Pascal and Odil. So thank you very much. Um, uh, we are a cooperative and uh, with a 60 grower, wine grower. Uh, our objective today is to expand uh, to brand Charles Clément on uh, American markets. Um, we are ho hoping to target the US especially on the East and West Coast too. Um, uh, why not on the Texas and also the Chicago area? And we are not uh, in Canada yet. Uh, so maybe hopefully we'll have some somewhere around the Montreal and Vancouver area too. Um, we are hoping to do around 10 pallets per year uh, thanks to this opportunity. Um, why we are here today is because we already are working on the Washington DC area uh, and on the on-trade sector on this area. Uh, and it's, we, have, we really have a great feedback and we are hoping to keep go going with this, uh, with this work on the US and also Canada market. Uh, we are already organized to develop uh, ourselves on the market thanks to a strong par partnership. So we already have a, a the, and FDA numbers, black, lab, black back labels, sorry, and um, we are already organized to, to send bottles uh, uh, on the US. Uh, we already also have great feedback. Um, so next slide, please. Uh, just before the black and white picture, just before, before, please. Uh, yes, this one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> As a cooperative, we are working with uh, 60 wine grower. Once we receive the perfect grapes, so it's our uh, obligation to produce uh, the best cuvee. The winery is on seat. We are taking care of everything from the pressing, the alcoholic and malolactic fermentation, to the labeling, 
Uh, it means uh, that we are flexible and able to get uh, consens consistency on, in our products. All teams are involved in the blending process by organized tasting. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, about the cuvées that we are presenting today, so it's only four cuvées out of seven cuvées we have. So the first one uh, on the left would be the tradition. So it's 50% uh, of Pinot Noir, 30% of Chardonnay, and 20% of Pinot Meunier. Uh, so it's a very traditional one. Uh, it's aging. They are all three, all four of them, sorry, are aging on dread for four years in our cellars. Um, regarding the tradition, we have a straight attack with volume uh, in the mouth, a lot of freshness in the final. And it's also very nice as an appetizer, or also with dessert and for different kind of celebrations. Uh, regarding the Pinot Noir, so the second one, uh, so it's 100% Pinot Noir uh, and with 30% of reserved wines, also aging for four years in our cellars. Uh, the intense, uh, the attack is very intense at first uh, with nuts of citrus and pineapple. Or lemon meringue pie as a dessert, for example. Uh, the third one would be the cuvée rosé, very famous for us as well. Um, it's 100% Pinot Noir with 12% of red wine, uh, with a, a color, very pink color, and getting brown on the rim as well. Uh, very roundness and a lot of freshness in the final too. And this one is very nice with a barbecue. Uh, as you said, in Florida, it's quite hot at the moment, so maybe you can already enjoy it. Um, and the very last one would be the cuvée spécial. So it's 70% uh, of Chardonnay, 30% of Pinot Noir, and uh, it's also aging for four years in the cellars. Uh, the taste is very structured, and we have also a fleshy mouth and balance, a lot of balance and a lot of freshness. So this one will go very well with lobsters or oysters. So at the end of the year, uh, on Christmas or New Year's Eve, uh, festivities would be very nice too. Um, yes, you can go on the next slide, please. Thank you. To meet the objective, we build up a partnership plan for you with a commercial offer and a marketing support plan. Yeah, so the idea is that, as you can see, on the picture, and we also have it uh, in live, uh, a Jeroboam of three liters. So we are offering an engraved Jeroboam uh, for the, 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 the purchase of two pallets of 420 bottles. Uh, so the, the, the engraved uh, symbol could be your logo, your employees of the mom's face, your kid's face, or your dog name, or or your mother-in-law face, if you really love her. Um, and on each palette, we are offering two samples uh, of the bottles uh, to, to, to build up the brand uh, with your company. Uh, next slide, please. For the marketing support, um, we also have uh, some POS free of charge, such as, uh, like you can see, orange and black uh, buckets. Uh, we also have glasses, stoppers, trays, and orange t-shirts for your events um, or promotional events. Dep and everything is going to be depending on your needs. So we are really looking for a partnership and to communicate a lot with you and work with you on, on the long term. And we also are willing to come and visit you and plan some events and also meeting uh, to develop the brand. So we are really looking for a partner uh, to work as a team. And so to conclude, I would say that we have, we are giving you all of our contact details. So if you are interested, feel free. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, George. Thank you, Lisa. I love Thank the you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, the, you know, we, we were not able to put all the pictures on the, on the slides, but they will be on the PDF. So please go and see the PDF once we uh, share it because the pictures of uh, of Champagne Chat Clément are really nice. Thank I mean, you, Adil. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Allez, so now we have uh, Michel Courtois presenting for uh, Champagne uh, Pierre Courtois. Michael? Allo, allo? Allo? Michel, ah, c'est bon. Vous étiez au mute, à vous. Ah, good morning. Morning. So you just need to say next next uh, slide, yes. Ask next slide no. to um my name is Michael. I hope you are all are doing very well and your family too during this difficult period. I would like to present to you who are far very far away, sorry. Our Champagne region in the Marne Valley, we are exactly between Paris and Reims. For our white, we will do it from the, the um, subsoil. In this spot, you can see the brown clay composed uh, the soil of my region, and the other point, there is a um, uh, clay and limestone. The, part, the particularity we have built with two, uh, two, uh, two types of soil uh, a new cellar. Uh, the, the material allows to regulate the temperature and the hygrometry. You can see uh, on the left on the photo. Um, now I present to you my different QV. The first is a brut, well, uh, composed of uh, 30% Meunier, 30% um, Chardonnay, and 5% Pinot Noir. The harvest is the um, 2017, and the uh, vine reserved the uh, 2016. The dosage is 6.5 grain per liter. We got a star uh, on Guy Dachette uh, 20, 2021, and we produced uh, uh, 30 bottles per year. The second is the rosé, is a blended rosé. We had 18% Coteau Champenois, is a red vine with our Meunier. The dosage is the same, 6.5 grain per liter. And uh, this one, uh, he got a star uh, Guy Lachette 2021. And we produced 4,000 um, 4, bottles. And the third, it's uh, the Blanc de Blanc, just a Chardonnay. Um, the dosage is the same, 6.5. We obtained a uh, one star Gidashet 21, the um, rating uh, 90 uh, in a Vine Enthusiast 2021. We produced uh, 4,000 uh, bottles. And the last, first, uh, I will taste together. It's the Demi Sec. It is the same pain of the Brut. But the dosage is 33 grain per liter. The champagne that I have discovered, rediscovered, I would like to change the image of the demi sec. It is incredible, but all, all that we can associate and do with it. We can make cocktail, uh, for example, uh, a royal morito. You you replace the sparkling water uh, with a, a demi sec, and uh, you need to add um, sugar can because the dosage is, uh, is made with a sugar can. I, we can associate with a different uh, uh, ditches, sweet and, and uh, savory ditches. 
as uh, Chennai's um, Sinai beaches and uh, different uh, French uh, cheese as a uh, Roquefort, Bleu d'Auvergne is very nice. But now I want to, to uh, test this with you with a, a little pastry. Egg with um, a fruit, a red, a red fruit, strawberry, cranberry, and we can test this sometime. I open the bottle. Sorry. Two Everyone, thank you. The smell is very good. The champagne is heavy, closely dressed with lemon yellow and deep savory yellow. I like. Evokes minerals, scant and smoked love stone, brioche bread, and uh, orange. And the palette. The approach is, um, is smooth and frank, with creamy and um, melted effervescence. The press three. Mm. It's wonderful. We we have um, different uh, between the soga of the champagne and the soga of the pastry. It's very nice. I hope to to have make you want to come and visit our valley from this past difficult period. And if you if you are a golf uh, golfer player, I'm very happy and very enjoy to play with you with um, golf. Depends. Bye. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Sorry. Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Yes, I'm sure we have uh, some golf fans and champagne fans to go to visiting you. <laughs> I will share anytime uh, the Royal Mojito recipe. I found it. So now next, uh, we are still in the Marne Valley and now we have uh, Mathieu, Mathieu Copin from Champagne, Jacques Copin, who has very big announcements to make. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, announcement. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, hello, hi everyone. Thank you to be here today. I hope you you're really good with this COVID nineteen, like what people told you before. Uh, yes, like said, uh, Odile, we have a lot of things to tell you today. We will try to to you know to do a quick. Uh, presentation of our estate and the first news that you can already see on your screen uh, is our logo. Uh, this is our new logo that we just uh, present to the public uh, in now 10 or 12 days. It will be the 14th of August. So you're the first uh, in the world <laughs> who will say our new logo. Uh, it will be also on our label. Uh, so first thing for you to, to, to discuss today. Uh, the previous one was, of course, on our label, and it was this logo. Uh, so as you can see, we changed some things. It was a little bit more classic before. Uh, Mathieu, we cannot see your camera. We cannot really? see you on the camera. Yes, I don't know if maybe the, the Wi-Fi, or maybe the other participants can close their videos so we don't have... Um, I think so, because uh, I can see me. You can see you. Uh, yes. Let me see. 
Do I stop it and start again? Maybe. Okay. Can so uh, maybe let's try the other ah, participants. If you have the videos on, turn them off so you can uh, so we can leave the resources to uh, Mathieu. But that's strange. I think it's your is your Wi-Fi. Okay, go ahead. But yeah, we can sorry. Okay. okay. I don't know why that's strange uh well okay so about the the logo as you can see now it's completely uh, different it's new we've got uh, all the family members on it except my mom who didn't want to, <laughs> to be on the logo but you've got if you can come back to the previous uh slide maybe i don't know uh yes so you've got my dad my sister me my grandfather, Jacques, who was the owner and uh, the creator of the brand, and also my dog, Valé, now on it. The, the goal of this logo was to, was to show and to, how can I say that in English? I don't know, maybe affirm uh, that we are a family estate, that we are not a cooperative uh, estate, and that we, we were completely independent in all the process. So uh, that was the goal. After on it, you can see the Contemporains uh, depuis 1963, which means in English, if we can translate it as modern since 1963. Uh, 1963 uh, is the date of the first bottle produced completely uh, by us at the estate, which means that before we've got vine since uh, 1903 for the first vine. Uh, but we found it on the on the estate by my great great grandfather. Uh, but at that time of the of the year, we we were in cooperative, so independent Champagne estate since 1963. Uh, yes, he did it. It may be the Wi-Fi. Well, I'm not in Wi-Fi, so I don't understand if it's the Wi-Fi. Sorry. I'm connecting and I can see my screen, so I, I don't know why. What? Well, doesn't matter. Uh, so the problem is that I can I can't show you the 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 the, the, the mm. next bottle. Well, the first bottle, but I, but I can write. It. I don't know. Uh, well, you will maybe see see it. I hope one day uh, if we are again allowed to do a new tasting in US. But I can maybe if you are interested, send you the the, the bottle. Uh, by mail, and you will have a pic of it if you if you would like. So the first uh, thing about our estate is the location. We are in the Marne Valley region, in a village of Verneuil, which is a small village between Epernay and Chateau Thierry. Uh, in the Marne Valley region, as you know, it's the land of the Pinot Meunier, like my, Michael just before me. We are, we, we, I can see you. I don't know if you can see me, Michael, but I can see you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so a lot of Pinot Meunier graves here in this area. We love Meunier and the good thing is uh, that in the bottle that I should present after and that you could see, uh, the Meunier uh, is present a lot, which means for us 90% on the first bottle. Uh, if we stay to the, the, the presentation of the estate, we work on 10 hectares, so it's not a huge size, but we, this uh, plot, all the plots we have are located just around the estate, which means five, six kilometers maximum uh, around the estate, which is really good. Uh, again, more if there is a specific year with a lot of disease, with a lot of pressure, uh, with, I don't know, rain, and bad uh, moisture like mildew or oidum, it can be really good, you know, to have a very close plot because we can go very often in each plot and make a very individual uh, viticulture on it. So it's interesting also for spraying, for example. After what I can tell you about the, the estate, or maybe the, the, the total production, we, we are close to 80, 85 uh, thousand barrel a year. So it's not a huge production, but we are close to, to it. Uh, we have, of course, the three different grapes. I spoke about the Pinot Meunier because if the, it's the, the, the classic uh, tradition. Uh, 
what is written. Hello, Annie. It's that you do the little bad way of capturing the initial video is not available for this position. Okay. Well, so it's it's a problem of me. Sorry for that. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so Pinot Meunier, the first grapes, uh, Pinot Noir, the second, and also the Chardonnay, we of course have the three. Now about the first bottle I will present you in the range today, it will be the Cuvée Tradition. Uh, it sh you should see uh, maybe something, I don't know. You want to see, well, you've got, you see some pictures, so, well, go like that, doesn't matter. Uh, the QV tradition, so it's, yes, this one. So this is the old version, but we still uh, sell it, and it will be also still available in this version, exactly like that, uh, after the new label design. Doesn't matter. If you prefer this one, it will be possible to keep it. Uh, so it's a blend with 90% uh, Pinot Meunier grapes and 10% Pinot Noir. So it's a blanc de noir. We do not have any Chardonnay on it. It's a classic non-vintage champagne. We just heard about the Gidashet guide who gave us the best mark possible on it, which is uh, hurt. So that means it should be a good champagne. Well, I think <laughs> because I made it, but I'm not objective. Uh, so it's very fruity, very elegant champagne with a very thin bubble, which is not always this case with the Pinot Meunier. Um, you've got a lot of fruit, like peach fruit, uh, like also almond. Uh, you can also smell cherry plum, which is not completely uh, very often taste. And it's interesting. I don't remember if I spoke about the dosage, but it's a brut with uh, six grams per liter of sugar added. Uh, the liquor, of course, we made it. We do not buy it like some uh, wine grower in champagne. Uh, um, and what else? What else? We produce approximately 45 to 50,000 uh, bottles a year of this champagne. So it's available uh, enough, I mean. Uh, on the American market, you can already find this champagne on the California market. And also, uh, and it's one of my favorite markets on Puerto Rico Island. Uh, so I love to come again each year to, to see my, my clients in Puerto Rico, I can, I can tell you. <laughs> um, well, that's it about this, uh, this champagne. We, of course, made it uh, in Brut. We also made it in Demi Sec, if you would, something different with more sugar. We can, we can, uh, we can have it. Uh, and we also make it in half bottle, which can be interesting for some of your clients, like restaurants or liquor stores. After the second champagne I will present you today uh, is the Blanc de Blanc, the second best seller uh, of our estate. Uh, so Blanc de Blanc in Champagne region mean only Chardonnay grapes. It's a specific champagne made from only one plot. Uh, the plot name is the La Goutte d'Or in French, which means the golden drop in English. Uh, so what interesting uh, name, I think. <laughs> uh, it's 100% Chardonnay, of course. It's an extra brut with only three grams uh, of sugar per liter added, which is not a lot. And uh, we do five years of aging on this one. So two more, two more years compared to the previous one. Uh, you will have a little bit more citrus, lime uh, notes compared to the, fresh one, the, the first one. A little bit more freshness. Uh, and it's really interesting, uh, like an aperitif or, for example, with seafood, oyster. It's lovely. Uh, yes. I think this is it for the two chunks I have to present you today. Uh, again, if, uh, if you are interested to, to, to speak a little bit more with us, don't hesitate to send me a mail or to speak in the chat. We, we can do a lot of things. For example, something that I can show you. Well, I can't because you, can, you can't see my, uh, my, my video, but we can do completely personalized bike label because we print it by ourselves. We don't use uh, a specific company for that, which means we can add your logo, we can add the logo of your client, and it don't take a month to make it. It's really good. It works a lot, I can tell you. We've got a lot of clients in Europe, for example, who like that. 
So it can help you also to, to sell a little bit more or also to remind to your clients your logo on your on the back bottle, on the back label. Uh, well, thank you for listening my presentation. And again, if you have any question, feel free to contact me. Thank you. Super, merci beaucoup, Mathieu. You're welcome. Donc, bon, now we are uh, moving to Epernay. So, Epernay, uh, where we have uh, Champagne Patrick Boivin and Baptistine will present her range of champagne. Baptistine, the floor is yours. Uh, where the sun is always shining, so uh, I put my uh, my cup. Hello. 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 No problem. No. Hello. Oui. Oui. C'est bon. C'est bon. Vas-y. Ah, non. 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 Je n'embauche personne. Je suis désolé. Ah, Mathieu, tu es encore connecté là. Au revoir. Il y a quelqu'un qui est connecté en même temps que moi. <rire> Allez, go ahead. Ah, I'm Baptistine from uh, the domain Champagne Patipola. Nice to meet you. Uh, we are two sisters taking over the domain. And I'm the youngest daughter of the family. Uh, the vineyards come from my grandfather, but my parents in 1978 decided to create their own brand. Little by little, they increased the vineyards and built the foundation of our domain. And now we grow six hectares with the three grapes variety through five villages around Eternet, with Premier Cru as Cunier and Kiri. Our biggest markets are in Germany and Canada. Today, uh, I'm looking for an importer and distributor to introduce my brand in the United States. Uh, our production is about 50,000 bottles per year, and uh, we offer a large range of nine cubes. Uh, which of them, which of some of them are also available in our bottle, Magnum, Giroboam, and Mathusalem. The first range is composed of the Cuvée Brut, Réserve, Rosé and Blanc de Blanc, uh, Conscious Royal Champagne, easy to drink, and could be suited for an aperitif or a party. Our specificity is a minimum aging of five years on the lease for non vintage Cuvée before selling. Next, we offer specific Cuvée you can pair with an elegant meal as a rosé de semi and three wonderful blanc de blanc old vintages 2008, 2002, and 1999, 21 years old. The last two cubes with alcoholic fermentation and aging few months in oak barrel before the bottling. For finish, our flagship cubes. The close 667, vintage 2009, my father's dream. A single vineyard planted around our family house. Uh, if you need more details about uh, the QV prices or cases availability, don't hesitate to send me a message. Today, I will present you our Blanc de Blanc Vintage 2008. Extra Brut, dosage 3.2 grams per liter. So, availability 80 cases and only in a bottle. It's a really nice white bottle, as you can see. And many rewards, so many rewards this year uh, from Jensen's Robinson, Silver Medal Decanter, Gold Medal in Terminalities, and the two stars in Gidachet. So for, for this today, 
I prefer to use a white wine glass to fill the aromatic sensation. So it's a lively and regular fine bubbles with a lemon, yellow, and green reflection color. Really fresh nose and yellow fruit aroma. At test, really nice balance. Fresh mousse with aroma of fresh citrus, white fruit and nuts. This cuvee is very fresh and elegant to be consumed at 6 degree temperature. It will be an ideal for dinner for two or a Sunday family with a white fish and a risotto saffron. Cheers. Um, so they, they improve of our parents' hard work. We are really motivated to develop our business family all over the world. And uh, I'm not looking to sell many bottles, but I'm really good. Uh, I, I want to find a really good partnership and work hard together. I trust on the quality of uh, our vines, and actually, we are moving on to a convention of high environmental value and sustainable wine growing in Champagne next year. If you want to work with us, uh, first you can visit our website and our new e-boutique. It's possible to send you a sample for testing our wines. You can see at the slide, uh, you can change the slide. Elliot, you can, uh, next. Yes, this one. So you you can see at um, at this slide that um, uh, I'm really present on social network, Facebook and Instagram, with more than two thousand followers. I like to take picture, beautiful picture of uh, of our wonderful region, listed in UNESCO World Heritage. I also love food and champagne pairing with really nice own meal that I prepare or my mother prepare. <laughs> we actually doing a private level for a customer, so we are able to provide if you need it. And uh, I'm actually also developing our advertised products and uh, you will have a communication budget that you can use during your promotion tour like a t-shirt, cap, bag, poster, glasses, cork. If you need other items, we can speak together. Uh, we can also decide a percentage of extra bottles fit for each palette order. I love travel. Otherwise, I would be pleased to visit you and get now. Also, it would be a great pleasure to receive you and show you our domain, vineyards, and our new testing cellar. Uh, I would like to share our passion, our lifestyle, and also new projects in progress. I can't tell something anymore now. <laughs> Please feel free to send me a message if you want any further information. Thank you for your time and opening hearing from you soon. Take care of you and your family. Bye-bye. I let you with Jean-Michel Jean Petit now. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, Baptistine. Thank you, Baptistine. Thank you, Baptistine. Merci. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you, Bill. Bye. Okay, so now, uh, yes, we're still in the Marne Valley region, and now we have uh, Jean-Michel with us. Jean-Michel, it's your turn. Okay. You. Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to, to meet you. How do you do? This is the first time for me. Uh, the first time for me, uh, I I'm from Michel Pelletier, and uh, and I represent uh, the brand from Michel Pelletier. Uh, it's a family estate, uh, and I'm uh, I'm the fourth generation. Hello. 
lost, we lost the video. We don't see you, but uh, we can hear you. You, 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 you okay? We can hear I'm you, here. But we don't, we don't see you anymore. So go ahead. Ah, sorry. And now? Yes, we see it's you okay? now. Yes. Oh, so, oh. sorry. This is. And, Unfortunately, and, it's not easy to communicate uh, by internet here. Okay. So, okay. When, you need, when you need to move the slides, please ask next. Okay. Sorry. Uh, as you should say next anytime you need to the to move the slides. So we move the slides. Vous devez dire next right. pour qu'on change le slide. Ah, sorry. No, no, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I can I can speak now. Yes, go ahead. Okay, okay. I, I begin again. I'm Jean-Michel Pelletier, and I represent uh, my own brand, Jean-Michel Pelletier. I'm. A, it's a family estate. I'm the fourth uh, generation, um, but I decided uh, to, to sell uh, bottles under my own brand uh, 35 years ago. Uh, I'm situated in the Valley de la Marne. Uh, this is the Valley where the Marne uh, uh, is, where you, you, you can find the River Marne. In the part of the Champagne, we have a lot of Meunier. Uh, I own about uh, five hectares, and uh, I produce uh, about uh, 40,000 40, bottles a year. Today, I'm going to present uh, for, uh, with a majority of Meunier. Inside the, inside the bottle. If you want to see what the Meunier is, this is a bunch of grapes of Meunier. Now, I want to, to present my first bottle. This is Brut Tradition. Uh, you can see uh, the black label of Brut Tradition. Uh, this is a, this is a wine uh, not exclusively uh, made from Meunier, but um, 90 about 90 percent of Meunier, and uh, two percent of Chardonnay. The bottle inside the lens, you have uh, 40 40 percent uh, about 40 percent uh, old wine. Now uh, the best. Is to to test this uh, to test this to test this wine. Uh, I'm going to to begin to test. Oh, sorry, just uh, no. I, I don't to to test some water. I want to test some uh, some brut tradition. You can see fine bubbles. Gold color. Now you have a fresh fruit uh, like a fresh apple, grapefruit, the pear. Oh, a nice, nice champagne. In the mouth, you have a freshness. A small bitterness, um, and, but it's you find a roundness. Uh, it's a champagne uh, of aperitif, anniversary, etc. etc. If I can say something about this champagne, this champagne is easy to drink. At, you can you can drink this champagne very very often. Sometimes you can have the opportunity to to drink this champagne with uh, with goat cheese, for example. After this, I want to present a second bottle. This is the Brut Rosé. 
you can see the label, the the color of the of this uh, this champagne. It's made uh, from uh, 70 70 percent of Meunier, uh, 30 percent of Chardonnay. But the Meunier, a part of the Meunier is uh, in is uh, produced in red wine. We add uh, about 15% uh, of red wine is this uh, rosé. It's uh, rosé d'assemblage. Uh, this champagne is uh, easy, easy to drink too. I can make a tasting uh, for you. Oh, sorry. Now, Very nice nose, a very nice color. Smells of red fruit. Ah, very pleasant to the nose. In the mouth, uh, sweetness. A very long, uh, long champagne in the mouth. Uh, roundness, uh, of course, but you can use this champagne uh, with uh, Chinese food, for example, or with uh, with dessert uh, with uh, with fruit. Uh, after this, I have to to present a cuvée origine. It's a uh, 100% of Meunier. Uh, a part of the a part of the of the of this wine is uh, comes from old uh, an old vineyard. I I am going to test this for you. Half of the wine inside the blend uh, doesn't uh, make the malolactic fermentation. Very nice nose with uh, honey, honey taste. A very pleasant mouth. It's easy to drink too. Uh, you can use this champagne for example, with uh, white meat. And at last, uh, I, go, I, I present a vintage, vintage from, from uh, 2011. This is Cuvée Anael, vintage 2000, uh, 2011. Uh, this is the name of my oldest daughter. Uh, half of the, this wine is made, uh, is, uh, edge in wood, and uh, it's nice. Uh, smells of dry, dry fruit, um, vanilla taste. In the mouth, dry the fruit too, and very, very long in the mouth. You can use this uh, for Christmas. I haven't uh, given you the prices. Total, the tradition. This is 11.35 euros for uh, export. The second, Brut Rosé. The price is 11.35 euros. The third, Cuvée Origine, the price is 14.65 euros. And at least, Cuvée Anael, the price is 16.10 euros. All these bottles are available for the US and Canadian market. 
until now, I'm not uh, I'm not present on uh, America, but I'm open to all opportunities to to go on uh, on this market. And if you want to if you want more details, uh, please send an email, and I'll I'll answer uh, to everybody. If you if you take a pallet, of course you'll have about you have uh, as present, and we have uh, also uh, hermetic cork for uh, as um, as present. Yeah. Uh, I hope you understand uh, everything. And uh, I'm happy to, to have the opportunity to present uh, my production, all my champagne, um, not all my champagne, but a part of the, of the range. Uh, if you're interested, no problem. I'm, uh, I'm working for you. And uh, you, I I'm, I'm could uh, go to America in the future or to Canada. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, see you see you soon. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you, all at PVSA. Thank you, Jean-Michel. Thank you, Jean-Michel. Nice Merci Jean-Michel. <laughs> okay. okay, so now uh, we are moving to Champagne, Damien Buffet. Hello. And Amandine is presenting. Thank you, Amandine. Hello, welcome, uh, Liv, uh, from our cellar. Uh, my name is Amandine. I'm sorry, I speak very bad English. So it's Virginie uh, who will introduce you to the house and the vintage. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Champagne and welcome to Sassy. Uh, we hope you are all fine uh, with the COVID. Um, she is Hamandine, she is the vine grower and the owner of the house with her brother. A few words about our house of Champagne. It's a family business in the 15th century. We are situated in Sassy, uh, in First Grove, little mountain de Reims, very, very close to Reims, an historical city with the French king's coronations and the place where the European Nazi capitulation was signed in 1945. We are also very close to Paris with the high-speed train. Until this year, it was Amandine's parents who were in charge of the house, but now they are retired and it's now Amandine who runs the business. Our house is practicing a sustainable wine growing and we will soon be able to be identified as a high environmental value in Champagne, vine grower, and get the certificate. Uh, we are very proud of that. The house owns the three main types of grapes, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and Chardonnay, in first growth. We can offer to our customers a range of eight different cuvées of blending of single varieties only one type of grapes inside the bottle. Amandine has chosen to present you today four different champagnes, one blend and three single varieties. All of them are blends of several different years of harvest because they are non-vintages. So the first one, Amandine, could you show the bottle, uh, is named Expression, is really the spirit of our house blending with the three different types of grapes. It's our signature representing our different plots and our souls. It's a champagne brut. The dosage is nine grams of sugar per liter, a blend of 10% of Chardonnay, 45% of Pinot Noir and 45% of Pinot Meunier and uh, several years of grape harvest and reserve wines inside the bottle. It's an easy drinking champagne for any occasions. It's a fine blend of complexity, uh, refinement and elegance. 
a lot of fruitness provided by Pinot Noir, roundness provided by Pinot Meunier, and freshness by Chardonnay. It will be perfect to share with friends or family for the appetizer, for example, with some toast or with a chocolate cake. The next one will be a single grape, 100% of Chardonnay. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very beautiful color, very elegant, very fine. Uh, so it's a 100% of Chardonnay, only the white grapes, which provides elegance, freshness, strong vivacity, fineness, and little, little bubbles. It's the finest champagne, a blend of free creatures of harvest, less acidity and minerality than in Côte des Blancs, uh, and more supple. Uh, this Chardonnay is good balanced with subtle elegance and a good maturity. It will be exceptional for the appetizer because it doesn't last longer in the mouth. It will highlight fishes, seafood, scallops, smoked salmon, etc. The next one is also a single grape. It's a Blanc de Noir, Pinot Noir, 100% of Pinot Noir. Uh, it is the opposite of the 100% of the Chardonnay because it's the strongest one. A lot of fruitness, a full-bodied champagne with a lot of structure. It lasts longer in the mouth. It's an exceptional champagne with a lot of fineness and a strong, strong personality. You will be surprised with its refinement, balance, perfection, and force. Gingerbread notes and livery aftertaste. It will be perfect at any time from the appetizer, for example, with toast, to the lunch, for example, roasted beef with rosemary potatoes, to the dessert, for example, um, chocolate cake or uh, red fruit pies. The more strong the chocolate is for the dessert, the best it is for the Pinot Noir. The last one, the last one is also a, a single variety, but this one is very, very special because it's Blanc de Noir, it's 100% of Pinot Meunier. Uh, only a few vine growers offer the opportunity to blend Pinot Meunier in a single grape cuvee. When you smell it, have it inside the mouth, it's really an explosion of fruits. It gives a lot of roundness, sweetness, and a lot of fruitness. Yellow fruits has apricots, Peaches compote. It's an exceptional champagne with a beautiful flexibility. Pinot Meunier brings to this cuvee balance and structure and infinitely delicacy. It will highlight smoked meats, meats roasted lambs, cheese, creme brulee with spices, or apple pies. We hope that you have spent a good time with us, as good as we spent with you. You can keep in touch with Amandine by email and feel free to ask for samples if you would like to taste those champagne and if you are interested in. Amandine uh, will be very, very glad to welcome you here at Sassy uh, for a visit and a tasting of those or all the range, marvelous champagne. Cheers. Cheers. Merci. Merci, à la vôtre. Thank you, yes. We are thirsty now. Oops. Okay, excellent. So, thank you, Amandine. Um, now we are going to pay a visit to Champagne Guimea, so it's not far from where Amandine uh, is. So, Franck, Hello. thank you for joining us. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for the organization. 
Uh, cheers to you first. It may be quite early for you, but uh, you seem to be thirsty uh, hearing all, all those words about uh, champagne. So cheers to you. I hope you are safe and I hope your business are okay with this, uh, this tough period. So uh, I, I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm co-own uh, Champagne Guimea with my wife. Uh, we are 33 and 35 years old and we are the, the fifth generation. Uh, so next slide, please. Thank you very much. So you see you are seeing uh, the, the team uh, in picture and the part of the family. So we are independent, uh, independent growers. Uh, that means that we own the, the, the vine, uh, seven acres, and we make, uh, manage every step from the plant to the, to the sales. Uh, so we work in, in family. You see on the, on the right, uh, the, the old uh, person is Guimea. The one was, uh, his name on the, on the label. He's now, uh, 89 years old and he drinks a lot of champagne and he's, he's still, uh, okay and, and very fun. Uh, we are still making the blends together. Uh, the first row is my, uh, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, uh, my wife and I and, uh, and the, uh, and the team after. So we are growers since, uh, for five generations and the uh, three generations are still working together. Actually, we have uh, three three boys with my wife, so the next generation will probably follow. Uh, we have a very small production. We make uh, 50,000 uh, bottles per year, and uh, we sell, we still, uh, we are still selling some grapes to uh, some grand maisons, such as uh, we work with Champagne Roderet, Champagne Paul Roger, and uh, we sell some red wine to Champagne Gosset that you, you probably know. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, so one of our, we are, we are very, very lucky to have great terroir. Uh, we are in Louvois, uh, which is a Grand Cru village. We are just in between Reims and uh, Epernay, which are the two Champagne capitals. And uh, we are very lucky to have uh, some vines uh, all around the Reims mountain with all kinds of exposure. Uh, it's very interesting for us to work with all these, all these exposure. We have uh, 27 parcels in two Grand Cru villages, in the south part, Louvois and Bouzy, and in the north part, in Lude, Toxière, Montbray, and uh, chigny les roses So it's all about uh, chalky soil and uh, clay and limestone, which are probably uh, one of the best terroir in, in Champagne. So next, please. Yeah, you're seeing my, my wife uh, in a kind of a, in a kitchen. Uh, my wife is a winemaker and I'm uh, more in charge of the vineyard and the, and the sales. Uh, but small structure, uh, structure so we, we are doing a little bit everything. Uh, we are running the, the company since uh, five years now, four, five years, uh, with uh, envi environmental care. Our aim is to, uh, to, uh, to uh, express the, the, um, the richness of our terroir, the greatness of our terroir. Uh, we plow the ground to favorish a good uh, routing and a good expression of the terroir. Uh, we are doing our organizing since five years and we have a um, I am, I am environmental value uh, certification. Uh, each parcel, uh, each vintage has its own interpretation, like we, we are working uh, parcel by, by parcel. There is no rule, no recipe. Uh, we are working with nature, so it's changed every year, and we have to, to adapt ourselves with the climate also. And we love to, to share uh, our passion with uh, tra transparency. Uh, I'm telling it to you because uh, we, during the confinement, we have made a lot of uh, uh, live tasting to show our, our work, to, uh, to, to make you discover our wines. And we have also uh, made some a movie with uh, drone pictures so we can make a virtual tour of the, of the vineyard and even the, the cellar. So it's important for us to show you exactly what we do uh, with transparency, uh, with our, our passion. Uh, next, please. Thank you very much. So we have uh, two uh, two range now. Uh, we have changed a lot of things with, with my wife uh, during uh, these five years. 
Uh, now I just have behind me, uh, you, you will be the, the first to see it because we just received the, the caps this afternoon. We have our, our brand new traditional range. So on the slide, you have the, the old, uh, the old labeling. And on my back, you have the new one. Uh, there is no revolution, but it's just more premium. Uh, I'll show you the old range. So that was a tradition. This is Rosa Delis, which is a, a blended rosé. Cuvée Signature, which is an extra brut from many uh, Pinot Noir. And the Cuvée Prestige, uh, what was the Cuvée Prestige, which is becoming a Le Grillon, uh, which is mainly Chardonnay with more aging. And the future new uh, baby vintage uh, with a new labeling also is the Cuvée des Loups. Uh, we use wolf in our in our identity because the the our village name is uh, Louvois, uh, and the etymology of Louvois is the way of the wolf because they used to have wolf in the forest. So we use the wolf in our identity, and that's why uh, our vintage is uh, with uh, the wolf head. So the, the traditional range uh, is made uh, like. We make champagne for pleasure. We, we like, we love to, we love food. We love gastronomy. But for us, we, you should be drinking champagne from the morning to the, to the night. And, uh, that, that's the aim of the, this range is to have a champagne for like any time, uh, for our aperitif, for dessert, for we could, we could discuss, uh, in private of, of uh, the meal accordance and everything, but that's, uh, more easygoing range, uh, by the glass range, for example. And the other part of the range, next slide, please. Thank you very much. Uh, is what we call interpretation range. So you are seeing only two bottles because that the two uh, available ones for the ones. It is a Belle de Blanc, so that's Blanc de Blanc, 100% Pinot Noir from Grand Cru Vineyards. And Blanc de Blanc, which is 100% Chardonnay from Grand Cru Bagnards also. And the aim of the interpretation range is to, to uh, express the identity of one terroir on one vintage, like the best that we can do in the best, the best vintage. Uh, the Cuvée de Loup that we'll release uh, for the end of the year, 2015 vintage, is half Chardonnay, half Pinot Noir on a fantastic vintage. Uh, next, please. Thank you. So, uh, for the moment, uh, we are not distributed yet in, uh, in North America, uh, in USA or in, in Canada. Uh, as I told you, we are running the business since five years with my wife. It was traditionally sold to only French privates. Uh, so we started with Europe. We are quite quite well distributed in Europe and now in Asia also. And we didn't find the, the right partner or partners yet for the US uh, because we have a small production and we want uh, uh, like a good, good distribution. Uh, we are looking for a partner that is more quality oriented than, than volume, as you can imagine. Uh, the one important point is also that we work with a tourism agency uh, and we, we welcome every year more than 1,000 uh, Americans per year uh, with the companies that organize uh, private tours with very good uh, customers. So we sell a lot of champagne to America, to American privates, but we have no distribution in the US. So that's quite important for us to, to find, to find a, a partnership. Uh, we are very uh, ready to support you on the field uh, coming to the US or Canada uh, with, uh, to help you uh, with your clients. Uh, and we are also willing, which is more, much more easy, to, to help you uh, virtually with, uh, with uh, virtual testing on Instagram or Facebook or with uh, virtual tools with you or, or your clients. And we have the, the right tools to, to do it. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you very much. So here is a view of the of the village from one of our young parcels. So Louvois is a very small village uh, and the old uh, traditional car. 
So you are very, the best way to discover our work and our, our family is to come and visit us. We will be opening a, a guest house uh, in the village in January. So if you come to in Champagne, we will be very pleased to meet you, uh, to, to welcome you in our guest house and uh, make you discover our, our passion. So thank you very much. Oh, one thing, sorry. We probably have the, the most funny goodie in Champagne. We call it the tire bouchon. It's like a, a bow and you can shoot the champagne cork so you can keep using uh, champagne uh, uh, when the bottle is empty. So you can, you can, uh, you can eat with your clients and it works well. It's a wooden uh, made in France. So it's a nice tool and nice, nice goodies though, just for fun. Excellent. I like that. I was a very Excellent. bad, I've, I was a very Just mean you. girl. So. <laughs> so we had a question from George Zamfirescu and he's asking yeah. if we are produced Brut Nature Zero Dosage. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, the cuvée signature, sorry, I didn't talk that much uh, about uh, each cuvée. But this one, uh, Cuvée Signature, is uh, it's called Signature because it's the signature of the terroir of the of the south part of Montagne de Reims. So that's 90% Pinot Noir and zero dosage at all. That's uh, Brut Nature means zero dosage. And for the other Cuvée, uh, we really pay attention to pick very ripe grapes. So we didn't have to, we do not have to put uh, more sugar, like more makeup for us because we, we want the expression of the, of the terroir uh, and the fruit. So the most sugar that we have, for tradition, the youngest one, and is seven, seven grams. For the prestige, it's six grams. And, uh, and for the vintage, it's 1.5 grams. Uh, is it okay for the reply? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Frank. And I like thank this, uh, De Chevaux. Huh? Yeah, you, you should yes. come and, and yeah, have a uh, voilà. drive. <laughs> <laughs> nice car. Okay, so thank you. now we have thank with us... Oh, thank you very much, Frank. Now we... Ha yes? Um, sorry, Constantin Georges a demandé, sorry, he asked to repeat, please. Um, if you could just repeat what you said. Uh, they me? were disconnected for some moments, so he wants to know again about the dosage, sorry. Okay, so uh, I, I was saying that uh, we really pay attention to pick very ripe grapes, so we, the aim is to express the, the terroir and the fruit. So we try to, to put very uh, low uh, sugar. So most of our champagne are brut, but with uh, six or seven grams uh, of sugar. And we have extra brut uh, with Harvest Base 2015, which is a uh, zero dosage. Uh, it's 90% uh, Pinot Noir. And that's uh, for us the uh, greatest expression of Pinot Noir of uh, Reims Montaigne. Okay. Very, very pure. And the vintage are 1.5 grams per liter, so very, very low dosage. Or maybe maybe you can uh, answer to him by private chat because the others already heard of it, course. the information. Of Thank you very much, uh, Constantine. They will answer, yes, they will answer you by chat. Thank you. So now we have next um, Audrey and Estelle from uh, Champagne Adam Miro. And thank you so much, Frank. So, Audrey, it's your turn. Thank you. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Audrey. Today, I'll present Estelle and Clemens for Champagne, Adam and Mero. Uh, I know this structure very well. Uh, I'm an analogist. I, I was cellar master at Cooperative of Beru. I finished and participated at the creation of the, of the wines. Uh, today I will focus uh, on three cuvées. Uh, the, in, little, uh, just a little introduction. Uh, the um, the vineyard Adam and uh, Miro was born from a meeting of two uh, wine growers 
their love and their passion for Rhine and the land attract the family and modern business. Uh, Champagne, uh, Adam and Mero is their name, the name of uh, their family. They wanted uh, to keep them uh, with respect for the, for the heritage. Estelle and uh, Clement are two young green growers from two different Champagne areas, Verzenay and Beru. And Beru. Uh, today, um, it's their asset uh, strength. Um, they can uh, blend their two terroirs in their rights. Um, they form a strong and dynamic team with a real desire to do well. They, they present um, rights uh, in their image, their personality. They, uh, they work while respecting the quality of the grapes and the know-how in energy. They are environmentally friendly. Uh, the exchange, sharing, transparency around their champagne is their commitment. Uh, the vineyard is composed of seven hectares where the three champagne grapes, uh, grape varieties are representative. The annual uh, production uh, can range up uh, to 20, uh, to 50,000 bottles, excuse me. Uh, this family business offers great responsiveness and has a very good ability to adapt. Today, uh, I present you three uh, QV, Blanc de Blanc. The first, yes, okay. QV Blanc de Blanc, vintage 2015, extra brut. Uh, this Blanc de Blanc champagne made only from Chardonnay at the harvest to uh, 2015, excuse me. <laughs> this Lord uh, champagne offers us a uh, beautiful characteristic of Chardonnay, French wine, fine and citrus notes. It's a perfect mixing between finesse and complexity, nice structure, ample wine, and fresh finish can describe this cube. It will be able to seduce a lot of people during the aperitif of, for example, with seafood. It's very easy to drink. The second, cuvée nature, zero design, it's a blanc de uh, trendy wine because it's unsweetened. Uh, not only um, it um, it um, it wants to be unsweetened because it uh, was imagined so. This wine has five years of aging. It's sufficient on its own. Uh, connoisseurs and and uh, amateurs will be able to uh, appreciate this cuvee. All the curious can discover the fruitness and the pretty structure of this wine. The attack is very pure, light and creamy uh, at the same time. The mouth is dominated by white fruits, lemon confit and tajun peel. This uh, champagne can be served both as an aperitif or during the meal. Uh, the set, the set. Cuvée Lafue, Blanc de Blanc, Vintage 2013. Champagne composed only of Chardonnay, vinified in a wood, oak barrel. Um, generous wine um, with a beautiful acidity from the beginning to the end of the mouth. The woody, uh, the woody notes accentuate the freshness of this uh, of this wine. Lemon, vanilla, uh, confit fruits, and toasty notes perfectly synthesize uh, the magnificent cube. This wine shows um, its generosity and the palate while remaining um, very pure and elegant. This cube can be served during a meal and as well with many dishes. Uh, the, range, uh, the range of uh, champagne doesn't stop at these three 
cuvée. The range is complete hein, for the champagne uh, Adam and Mero. Now, let's talk about the business proposition. Um, exchanging with their partners in the priority of Estelle and um, Clément. They want to create a true relationship with, uh, with you over time. A real uh, exchange, uh, sharing is mandatory. Uh, they can give time, energy, uh, they, are, they are open mind and now they are ready to invest with you. They uh, elaborate quality products with passion. They will, they will help, you, uh, help you get their message uh, across the American market. They can offer you to come and visit their structure, their vineyard, a real champagne tour also. They can help uh, with your travel cost. Uh, of course, when the context will be uh, more favorable to, uh, to travel. Um, they, can, um, uh, they can provide um, promotional items, goodies, like a prawn, champagne bucket, like this, or more large, this. <laughs> Um, uh, why not a tasting sheet, uh, sample bottle um, in proportion to the um, uh, palette uh, shift, uh, visual support. They can suggest to feed social network, uh, be dynamic and very, uh, very um, present on social network is fundamentally um, today uh, the, for the business. Um, they know to take decisions quickly and can work to your request. Um, they are um, now they are able to provide a stock of champagne on uh, American soil, an ID. A stock could be considered on the East Coast near Los Angeles and one on the west coast near Washington, for example. Uh, Champagne uh, Adomero are at an attractive price. With this partnership, um, it's easy to order Champagne Adomero in France and uh, the United States with, uh, with these two stocks. Um, they are ready to come and see you, meet you, and train you. They will be uh, delighted to participate um, uh, in, in events in store. Um, they will be available to answer questions and discuss with you and customers. Um, how to find them? <laughs> There's a name. It's a village, uh, 20 minutes by car from Greens. You have on this slide uh, Estelle's uh, email address and uh, the Instagram account. For Finnish, this structure is recent, but composed of an ambitious team with two young, fun, and talented one brothers, but above all, are working. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, I, I excuse me for my action. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Audrey. Merci, Estelle. Thank you very much. So now we are moving to the Côte de Blanc. La Côte de Blanc, uh, are you ready? It's uh, Champagne Verrier à Etoge. Yes, I'm ready. Hello, I hope you are. All. I'm uh, Emmanuel Verrier. I'm the wine grower and the winemaker of uh, Champagne Verrier. I am the fifth family generation since uh, 1860. Uh, now I have five hectares of vineyards with uh, three variety grapes, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and uh, Chardonnay. And uh, inside my vineyards, uh, I have uh, certification environmental, uh, high value environmental uh, without herbicide and insecticide. My vineyard is on the uh, Coteau du Petit Morin, uh, it's uh, 20 kilometers uh, south of Epernay, just near Côte des Blancs, but we have the three variety grapes. Um, 
donc, I am a very small, uh, enfin, little winemaker. I just made uh, 30,000 bottles per year. Um, and I would like to offer uh, four cuvées for sale in the uh, USA or Canada, except uh, Miami, where my cousin uh, sells uh, my champagne. Um, donc, all my champagne, I uh, made a blend with uh, 25% uh, reserve wine uh, from two previous years. Um, uh, we keep uh, four years inside the cellar before two cells. Um, and uh, I made the natural vinification uh, without uh, analogical chemical substance, uh, like my father or my grandfather. Uh, I made uh, all the malolactic uh, like this uh, champagne. It's uh, easy to, to drink. Um, and the four champagne, um, Uh, I propose, um, it is a brut, and uh, I put uh, eight gram per liter, um, um, sugar per liter, I'm sorry. I made uh, manually the gorgement uh, with my uh, Solera liqueur, and uh, this day it's my birthday. And uh, for my birth birthday, uh, I will show you uh, how I made the manually the gorgement. We made a manual development. We don't use uh, a freeze for major development. I use the pressure inside the bottle, six or seven bar. I use this opener. Now there is a yeast just on the top of the bottle. And we take the bottle on the top, we take the opener, we return, we pour out the cap and the yeast. It's like this for made man with the gorgement. I drink after. And uh, the first champagne I, uh, I propose, it is uh, a brute tradition. Uh, it is a historical blend of my grandfather, 75% Pinot Meunier, 20% Chardonnay, 5% Pinot Noir. I made uh, the tradition in a bottle, half bottle, my name and uh, Jeroboam. It's a champagne with uh, aroma of uh, apple and pear. Uh, it is champagne very easy to drink uh, from morning to night. When I drink a lot, uh, it is this bottle I use. Uh, with meal, it's possible with uh, apple pie or uh, with aperitif. When I, uh, the price, it is uh, 15 euro. I just made uh, 4,000 bottles. And uh, after the second wine, it is uh, Brut Pinot Noir. It is just a blend with this variety of Pinot Noir. It is uh, more fruity, more strong, uh, with more character. Uh, there is a note of uh, blueberry. Uh, there is a constant from attack to the, the finish. It is champagne for aperitif, but uh, it is best with lunch. Uh, I like with uh, chicken or uh, uh, light cheese, for example, uh, Bridmo. It is very, very easy, easy to, to drink with cheese. The price it is uh, 15 points, 50 euro, but I have just 1,000 bottles to sell them. The first, it is uh, Cuvée Fleuron. It is a very nice bottle. It is uh, my parents made this paint. 90% Chardonnay and 10% Pinot Noir. Um, Uh, there is champagne with uh, more fineness, more complex. Um, very nice for uh, aperitif, but it is possible uh, with uh, meat, uh, with um, uh, CF, uh, CF uh, food, um, like uh, fish, uh, bar, or um, uh, turbo. Uh, the price, it is uh, 70 euros. And I have uh, 3,000 bottles to sell them. When you drink, it is very nice because on the first, you have a lemon. 
And uh, on the end, uh, we have a vinosity, so there is a, a complex. And the 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 um, the fourth bottle, it is a pink uh, champagne rosé. It is a brut. Uh, I made the, the same blend uh, like um, three generation, like my father or my grandfather. We made the blend with a red wine of Pinot Meunier, like this. Uh, Pinot Meunier is, uh, is a very nice fruity, a very nice pink. Uh, the, when we made the blend, uh, the white wine, uh, it is the same like, like the Fleuron, 90% Chardonnay, 10% Pinot Noir. Like this, it is a natural tear. There is aroma of uh, red fruit candy, uh, very nice uh, with uh, uh, a food, uh, a red berry dessert, example. Um, the price, it is uh, 70 euros. And I have uh, 1,500 bottles to, to sell them. Donc, uh, for... Uh, <coughs> For uh, one pallet uh, bag, I give, I give you uh, one Jeroboam. It is a little bottle for uh, your night, just near uh, the, your, your bed. And I give you uh, an apron sommelier with uh, the name Champagne Verrier. And um, if you come in Champagne, um, I'm uh, waiting uh, for in Etoge to show you. Um, like this, I, uh, it's possible to see my uh, historical cellar in a chalk, uh, chalky subsoil. Soil, sorry. And uh, it's possible I invite you uh, for lunch in the Chateau d'Etoge. It's a very very nice uh, restaurant. Um, it is the uh, oldest castle of the um, Roi de France. So, uh, thank you for listening to me. I'm sorry for my English. I don't speak very, very well. Um, and thanks to Odile, Elliot, and Pascal. Uh, donc, uh, I'm waiting uh, for your contact if you want. More explain and if you want some sample. Don't santé, it's my birthday. And when I was <laughs> younger, uh, I made uh, all the time my birthday during the harvest. But now, uh, with uh, crazy summer, we have finished the harvest uh, just on the end of uh, August. Santé. <laughs> Happy birthday. Incroyable. Joyeux anniversaire. Merci. Thank you, Thank you. Fantastic. So we are moving now to um, oh yes, something that you need to read is the the tasting notes that are in the tech sheets of uh, Champagne Verrier. They are very well done. I like them very much, Emmanuel. I don't know who did them, but they're they're very nice. So. Now uh, we're moving to Champagne Vrin Auger, and we have Catherine with us, and uh, Elliot will do the presentation on her behalf. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Catherine Vrin. Don't know very good English, uh, sorry. Will speak uh, for me, Elliot. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Hi, everybody. Um, so today we are going to present uh, Champagne Grand Auger. Um, so we just want to tell you a little bit about them. Last year, we actually were able to host the family of Grand Auger um, at one of our events. It's a family of it's five generations of independent winemakers. And when they came over to Quebec, after tasting these wines, agents were extremely interested in their unique flavors and they actually immediately gained representation in Quebec. Um, so Kath, Catherine and Cédric are hoping to um, begin a partnership with the rest of Canada, the United States, Mexico, and the Caribbean. 
Um, they're ready to invest time in promotion, samples, contests, giveaways, um, in order to get North America really excited about their products like uh, Quebec already is. Um, they're also thrilled to invite their future partners to the, uh, their region in Champagne to get to know them, the beautiful landscapes and their winemaking process. Um, the grapes are grown, pressed and minified in their own press. Uh, the winery is in the heart of the village. Um, independent, it's an independent winemaker at heart. They do everything from bottling to marketing themselves. Um, basically everything from A to Z. Culture, pressing, um, that's how they really got the title. Uh, oui. They also, <laughs> they also handle the bottling and the commercialization of their champagne. Uh, the champagne. Paints that we're going to present today consist of four cuvées between four, eight and 14 euros, or sorry, 14 and 18 euros. Sure. Um, it's the Brut Tradition, the Rosé, and the Blanc de Blanc, and the Prestige. So we'll go back from, we'll start with the, um, the Rosé. So we want to go back. And so Catherine so it up for us. <laughs> so, the Champagne Rosé is 100% Meunier, um, and you can see on the screen, there's a, some info on it. Um, move to the next one, unless you have anything to say. No? Um, the Blanc de Blanc is 100% Chardonnay, and Catherine is holding it up as well, you can see it in person. Uh, and then the next one is the Prestige, which is 40% Meunier, 30% Pinot Noir, 30% Chardonnay. Um, and this one is in a very uh, mysterious bottle. I like that one, the presentation. Okay, perfect. And then um, the last one is the Prestige. And that one is 100% Meunier. So, to build a strong relationship with Catherine and Cedric centered on these unique champagnes, you can reach out to them directly with any questions. We have all of their information on the screen there. Um, and you can try these beautiful wines that are in champagnes that are already present in Quebec. And we're really excited to bring them to the rest of the North American market. So, thank you, Catherine. If you have anything else that you'd like to say, c'est notre centre de pressurage. Mm. On fait tout nous That's, That's where you um, press the grapes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So voilà. this photo uh, you can see is where all the grapes are pressed. Là, c'est son novine, donc là, ça va basculer. On va les basculer dans le pressoir. Et Cédric est en, en dessous. Il réceptionne les vins. Ok. La cuverie est en dessous. Voilà. Donc là, c'est vraiment tout un petit groupe. Euh, c'est tout compact, c'est pas idéal. Cédric s'occupe des vins de A à Z. Et, et puis nous, ben, on fait le reste. On, on, on va avec vous, on va voir euh, les personnes pour pouvoir leur parler, pour être à la rencontre, pour euh, sourire, parler, euh, faire la fête aussi. Parce que le champagne, c'est la fête. Et on n'oublie pas les personnes qui ont des soucis en ce moment. J'ai une grande pensée pour eux. Euh, mais après, il faut savoir vivre. Voilà. Et toujours garder le sourire. Parfait. Par Thank you so much, Catherine. Oui. Par um, contre, il... oui. Non, vas-y, vas-y. Euh, J'ai par... enfin, des prix par rapport à nos bouteilles, parce que vous n'avez pas du tout de prix, je pense. Ok. Vas-y, oui. je... Euh, donc, euh, la bouteille de tradition est à 14 euros. D'accord. Le, voilà. Le rosé est à 15,50 euros. Blanc de blanc. Pardon. Vas-y. Le blanc de blanc est à 15,50 euros. Also 15,50. Le prestige, lui, est à 18,50. So 18,50 for the prestige. En sachant que. Euh, 
pour une palette, une palette qui contient euh, 80 caisses, d'accord Donc, 480 bouteilles. Euh, donc, les prix, euh, voilà, on va être en décembre. Euh, Jusqu'à 1000 bouteilles, nous faisons le prix à donc 14 euros. Et de 1001 à 2000 bouteilles, nous passons à 13,80 euros. En fait, on va en dégraisser. So the more bottles that you buy in pallets, um, the price will be reduced per bottle. And if voilà. you want to ask Catherine uh, about this et, after the event, you can just send her an email. Et okay. pour une palette, voire même deux palettes, puisque faut être fou, hein. <laughs> uh, nous vous pro... <laughs> Merci Pascal. Nous vous proposons quand même de passer un bon moment avec nous en quad. Donc... Uh... Un moment très festif, euh, avec des machines que mon mari connaît très très bien. Donc une belle grande sortie vers euh, des restaurants, vers, dans les bois. Et, et puis voilà, un moment bien, bien convivial. Parce qu'on okay, sait vivre en Champagne. So Catherine was just saying that she'd love to invite you to the region and pass a, like celebrate together um, in, the, in the area and learn about the wines. So... Thank you so much, Catherine. Do you have anything else to say or? You say, say two? Say two. 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 Yeah. Two. Okay. C'est, c'est juste, c'est, merci beaucoup, Catherine. Thank you. Je, je suis désolée. J'ai, euh, j'ai pas plus et j'en, oh, je suis franchement tout à fait désolée. Parfait. Pardon? C'est parfait. Merci. D'accord. Merci. merci à vous. Bonne soirée. Au revoir. Bye. Merci. Okay, merci. Uh, so later uh, we will speak about the prices. Constantine uh, brought a topic on the table and I think it's important to discuss. But first we will see the, the rest of the, pre, um, of the exhibitors. So now we have with us uh, Vincent from uh, Champagne Cuyer. Vincent, c'est à vous. Uh... Hi everyone. Thank you uh, to to be uh, to be on the the call. Um, so from the family Champagne Cuyer, I'm the sixth generation. Uh, so that all family site, all by end, of course, we are based in the north of Reims, and um, yes, exactly that. The north of Reims, very close of the city, uh, all the or the the area is very special in the north because we. We don't have clay, we don't have, have, uh, have short, we have only sandy. So that's the soil of we have in majority. So that's very important for us because uh, the sandy changes everything for the taste after. We are a little bit more fruity and more complex. Uh, can you change the side, please? So family business, uh, that my father in the, in the left part and, and me in the right. Uh, if you can change uh, the, the way. Perfect. So that um, all the wine is organic. Actually, uh, uh, we uh, we work without uh, chemical in the vineyard. That's very important because that uh, that uh, we change the, the the cultivation soil for more uh, impact with the uh, with the climate because uh, we we think the climate change. So we we work the soil. We work without chemical. We we planting some trees in the vineyard because we think about. Uh, uh, the trees uh, maybe have a lot of impact with the uh, with the climate for uh, for um, more color in the in the long time, but that also for have uh, um, more bacteria, more mushroom, more um, more yeast uh, on the vineyard. That uh, help for the life in the soil and the and for the for the vine. So uh, that a part important of the terroir that don't change the taste of the soil that change only the climate uh, uh, of this. So we produce around fifty thousand butter, uh, and uh, we work on uh, on six hectares. Majority of our uh, vine is uh, is Pinot Noir, is uh, because uh, on the north of France we prefer Pinot Noir uh, for the for the cultivation soil. On the on the soil, sorry, on the sandy soils. Um, 
the pilnar is a very very important for us because uh, for example uh, in the in the village of uh, prion is a village of uh, vine for uh, three uh, century uh, after jesus christ so very long time ago but all the time you have the vine and you have a, a little abbey very close of the of the village uh, one village after for for pre precise and in the, on the on the Pinot Noir. So we use the same uh, varietal with different uh, um, varietal, but pin only Pinot Noir. So that's very important because uh, uh, the, the taste of, uh, of this Pinot Noir is uh, very, very light, very delicate, and a little bit of, uh, of the fruity, like uh, uh, currant or uh, red fruit uh, aromat. So actually, we work a little bit in the US, a major part in, in Europe. Uh, major part uh, is uh, like uh, eighty percent in Europe. Uh, we work a lot with um, consum the consumer and restaurant. Can I have the next uh, slide, please? So uh, let's focus on the QV. So we are uh, six different QV actually. Two of them coming. The first one of the range is uh, Brut Original. Original is uh, is on the, on the terroir of Puyon in the north of France. Is majority of Meunier. So we have a uh, um, long aging, 24 months simply, and we want uh, apple, uh, fruit, um, uh, pear, citrus, uh, um, some butter. That, uh, that's uh, the taste of what uh, we want. Uh, can I have the next uh, slide, please? The perpetual one is. Uh, is a long time aging, uh, the same, it's 24 months actually, but uh, in the, inside we have a reserve wine. The reserve wine have uh, maybe uh, 15 different here inside for, uh, for the same touch each, each year. Perpetual uh, mean ever forever, like the style of my mother and my grandmother doing and the style of the wine don't change. We are in the brut uh, category, low brut, uh, around seven to eight grams of sugar, not a lot, but uh, the taste of this is more on, uh, on red fruit, uh, on a flower, currant, like this. Can I go next, please? Grand Reserve is, uh, is very important for us. Actually, we don't do brut, we only do extra brut. We low dosage, around uh, four grams of dosage, and more aging, because at five years of aging, so the, the equality of grape variety, one tier Pinot Noir, one tier Pimene, one tier Charnay, is, uh, is important because that's a QV uh, for gastronomic uh, restaurant, for, uh, uh, for food, uh, for, uh, for at home or in the restaurant, it uh, doesn't matter, it's just for enjoy and for enjoy the, the food. It's, uh, it's for example, uh, when we, we start the dinner we are with a friend, we can have some, something to eat that uh, directly uh, have a more expression of the of the QV is a uh, is a uh, is very balanced QV, so that helps for the the taste of uh, with with the food. Um, can I use the next, please? Tanessian is a focus of the soil and only for one variety, the Pinot Noir. So Tanessian mean um, is a geological part of the soil is eighty million years ago is uh, because uh, uh, in the north of France, we have Sandy. So the Sandy is important for us and we want to promote this. So my father, 20 years ago, uh, do a special bottle with a blue bottle uh, to, to explain about the soil and the sandy soil of we have. So Sandy come from the ocean. So he want to explain the color of the ocean, give the soil, and after we planting Pinot on the soil for this uh, so very light, very delicate uh, champagne, uh, very uh, easy to, to drink for uh, with, a, with a fish or uh, in aperity from a lot of different kind of possibility, but uh, um, very easy. Not a lot of sugar, is uh, around seven grams of sugar, seven, eight brute categories. Only, only on the bottle uh, available. For other, we can have a bottle and magnum, for example. Uh, or our bottle, but not, not more. Can I have a other um, slide, please? So, 
that uh, <laughs> the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for everything. I can uh, say also if you are interested about us, uh, uh, we can uh, help you in the market if you if you need. Uh, we can go in to to help the sale uh, because that I think important to to help the sale of all time. We can uh, have uh, some goodies, some uh, ice uh, buckets, some uh, some glass uh, uh, that depend of. Of uh, help with uh, promotion uh, goodies, uh, that I'm sure that uh, that good opportunity. Uh, we have also a different range uh, coming, like a single vineyard uh, uh, with a with a tree on the vineyard, uh, only one gravity. We have th three different uh, single vineyard coming. If you are if you are interesting, we we just opening the the sales for the next year. So that's uh, the beginning. Um, and the term, can I say more? As the only last thing I can say uh, is, uh, if you you come in Champagne, please uh, ask us. We can uh, have a lunch and at the winery if you need, or, or if you need something to help the market, uh, we can be here if you need. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Merci, Vincent. Thank you, Vincent. Um, Merci, Vincent. Well. You have to know that uh, Vincent uh, Champagne Cuillet has a large range of wines. They, are, they have many more, so all very interesting. So please do not hesitate uh, to see on the wine list. They have seven wines to discover. So yeah. now we are moving. <laughs> Thank you. Now we are moving to uh, La Maison Emile Leclerc. And for Maison Emile Leclerc, is Elliot who will do the presentation? And yes. is uh, Marie with us? Okay, so let's let's move on. Thank you, Elliot. Hi, everyone. So now we're going to move on to presenting La Maison Emile Leclerc. Um, it's a house of champagne which was founded in 1832 in Mardeuil, a village in the Mount Valley. Um, we have some really cute images of uh, Vincent and Marie, who have actually been passed down the champagne making technique from those who were before them. Um, the Vincent and Marie work together on 12 hectares of vineyards spreading 10 to 60 kilometers of their property. Um, they are composed of 70% Meunier, 24% Chardonnay, and 6% Pinot Noir. And harvest bottling each of the steps in the process of champagne making is carried out by them on their premises, which is really cool to know that they're doing everything from start to finish. Um, the bottles, this actually helps to guarantee a consistent quality in all of their cuvées, which is great. Um, the bottles then lay in their own chalk cellars for two to five years at a temperature of 11 degrees Celsius, protected from light, giving them the best condition for optimal aging. Champagne Emile Leclerc. So we're going to go through all of their champagnes that are listed here. I believe there's uh, actually we're going to go through seven. So we'll start with the Cuvée Vincent de Louvain, which is 100% Meunier. Awarded by the selection of Bowen Milo, which features uh, which is featured in the guide Hachette. Um, this uh, champagne is made with sustainable viticulture. The sugar content is nine grams per liter. It's aged for two years, and on the nose, the fruits are um, ripe, really ripe fruits and baked goods. The palate is fruity, round, fresh, with a balanced acidity. Okay, so the next one is the uh, Brut Reserve. It's available in half dry as well. Uh, it's aged three years in the cellar. It's a blend of 80% Meunier and 20% Chardonnay. It's 90, or sorry, nine grams, not 90, that would be crazy. <laughs> it's nine grams per liter of sugar, and it would serve as a delicious appetite um, and also pairs with most dishes for a full meal or appetizers and dessert as well. Uh, on the nose, it's ripe fruits, uh, big brioche, and the bubbles are thin and persistent. The acidity is fresh and balanced, uh, and the length at the end of the length at the end is really long, which is lovely. Um, 
this bottle is available in 375, 750, Magnum, and Jérôme, which is uh, 3,000, as well as 150, uh, 1,500 milliliters, sorry. Uh, okay, we're gonna move on to the Rosé. And this one is a Brut Fruit Forward Champagne, aged three years in the cellar. You can see, you can tell that the tones are pretty light pink. Uh, it's a blend of 80% Meunier, 20% Pinot Noir, and it's nine grams per, of sugar per liter as well. Um, it can be served as an aperitif or with dessert with fine bubbles. And on the palate, the wine shows notes of fruits like citrus and red berries. Sorry, we're having some technical difficulties. Got Pascal reaching over. Um, okay, so there's also that hint of baked goods, like I mentioned in the other ones, with acidity that makes it really easy drinking, lovely for summer, um, a fun sparkling for your girls' night out. Um, okay, so the next one is the Champagne Brut. It's a vintage 2015 aged in three years in the cellar, six years in a foudre. Uh, it can be aged after purchase for four to six years and is 100% Chardonnay with eight grams per liter of sugar. It can be served as an aperitif, pairs well with fine fish dishes. Um, it has a really aromatic palate with ripe fruit, baked goods. The beads are also fine and persistent. The acidity is fresh, well balanced, and the wine is driven by ripe orchard fruits um, with a round flavor, a round complex flavor. Uh, okay, so on to the next one is the Blanc de Blanc, also aged three years in the cellar, and it can be preserved for three years after purchase. Um, it's 100% Chardonnay, nine grams of sugar per liter. It can be served as an aperitif or paired with various dishes. Uh, on the nose, you'll notice ripe apples, dried fruits with fine bubbles, showing a consistent thread when you pour it, which is always nice when you serve it to your guests. Um, on the palate, the wine has a refreshing acidity and it's really fruit forward. Okay, so the next one is the Champagne Fruit. Um, it's only for special celebrations and fine dining. So this is one that you can pull out for when you're pulling out all the stops for your guests. Um, it's aged five years in the cellar and eight months, uh, sorry, six months in a food. Uh, it can be preserved for five to eight years, depending on the vintage. It's blended with three varieties, 60% Chardonnay, 30% Meunier, 10% Pinot Noir, with eight grams per liter of sugar. It can be served for an aperitif in the, during the meal or as a dessert. Uh, the notes are of citrus fruits like lemon, and, as well as orchard, pear, apples. Um, you can really taste the minerality and the notes of the limestone balanced with the acidity uh, and of sour candy. The finish is strong, long, and persistent, and it's a really well-appreciated champagne where the Chardonnay stands out. Okay, so we're on to our last one, uh, uh, champagne, which is the Brut, aged over three years and 50% in an oak barrel, 50% in a vat. And this one is, sorry, that's the next one there. And that's, sorry, that's the last one. So it's, um, in the vat and in the oak barrel. This one is really delicious. Um, and if you want some more tasting notes, you will be able to see it on the, um, the pamphlet that's gonna be sent out to everyone at the end, okay? So if you do want to, um, if you would like to discuss any of these wines, um, please contact um, Marie at the end of the event you can this is her email as well as the phone number if you'd like to chat with her they're really interested in building these partnerships in north america so thank you so much for listening and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them thanks so much okay thank you very much Celia. so
We are uh, almost at the end of the event. I just want to know how many people from Quebec are connected. So is there, yeah, because it's two options. If we have people of Quebec, there is a last product to present for them, exclusively for Quebec, <laughs> and it will be in French. If there is nobody from Quebec, we can discuss about the pricing, uh, about champagne that Constantine brought to the table. So, Pascal? want to speak? I see some people of Quebec there on the line. Huh? I see some of them. Okay. So, okay. So perhaps I can do the, I can do the translation in French, I respect for the people from Quebec because it's a Quebec story. And after it will be my friend, Elliot. She talked about this story. Are you okay? Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Alors, J'aimerais euh, d'abord vous préciser que au Québec cette année, c'était le 400e anniversaire de naissance de la première enseignante. Alors vous allez me dire Pascal, c'est quoi le rapport avec cette enseignante et le champagne Il y a un rapport très très important. C'est que la première enseignante qui est venue au Québec en 1753 qui a combattu contre les Iroquois en passant se nommait Marguerite Bourgeois. Et cette femme vient de la ville de Troyes, en Champagne. Alors, non seulement les Champenois nous ont envoyé un excellent breuvage, mais en plus, ils nous ont envoyé cette première institutrice euh, qui n'était pas n'importe laquelle, puisque Marguerite était une femme tenace, déterminée, courageuse, et à l'époque, il valait mieux être courageuse, surtout en 1653, où il y avait à peine 50 habitants dans la ville où nous sommes, où je vous parle aujourd'hui, euh, qui étaient régulièrement attaqués par les Iroquois. On peut dire que le climat était euh, plus que tendu. Alors, moi, je pense qu'en hommage à cette femme qui est devenue une sainte et qui a fondé dès son arrivée une école et une congrégation qui existe toujours, et même une chapelle qui est située dans le Vieux-Montréal, nous pouvons lancer un champagne qui porte, qui vient de sa région natale, évidemment, Troyes, et qui portera son nom sur un superbe coffret en bois. Et les profits iront, bien évidemment, à la fondation pour aider les pauvres. La fondation est là pour aider les pauvres. En d'autres termes, plus vous vendrez de bouteilles et plus les pauvres se porteront bien. Alors, je vais euh, vous mettre en contact avec ces gens-là. Je ferai même un Instagram d'ici deux semaines en direct de la maison de Marguerite Bourgeois pour tout vous préciser. Bien entendu, les producteurs de ce champagne mettront tout en œuvre pour vous aider à commercialiser le champagne. Ils ont un département de communication qui est prêt à vous aider et une équipe commercial qui va vous donner les moyens de réussir. Je vous donne donc rendez-vous dans deux semaines sur Instagram en direct de la chapelle de Marguerite Bourgeois pour commencer à célébrer ce 400e anniversaire qui est passé vraiment incognito à cause de la Covid. Voilà pour nos amis du Québec. Perfect. So I'm going to do a little translation of that in English. So this year is the 400th anniversary of the birth of Quebec's first school teacher, Marguerite Bourgeois. She was born in Champagne. So not only has that region given us the delicious drink that we've been talking about today, but also gave Quebec its first female school teacher. Um, Marguerite was a very unique woman. She was very determined, bold, and stubborn. Um, but thank God she was because upon her arrival in 1653 in Montreal, the 15 inhabitants of Montreal at the time, which sounds crazy now because there's millions, um, but there's only 50 people there at the time and they were regularly in altercations with the Iroquois. Um, so she needed to be strong-willed. Uh, it was a difficult time. So in homage to this woman who was later made a saint and founded a school, a congregation and a church, which still stands in old Montreal. We would like to introduce a champagne grown in the village Marguerite herself grew up in. So the beautiful bottle will showcase an image of Marguerite, which you can see, and um, all of the profits will go to her foundation, which aids people living in poverty. Uh, champagne Gaston Check will pull out all of the stops to help you with the promotion of this champagne and their communication team has campaigns prepared to help sell this new and exciting champagne. So you, if you have any questions, you can reach out to them directly. 
Um, the information is on the screen. And Pascal was also saying that in a couple of weeks, he's doing an Instagram live um, directly from her house, right? Exactly. It's her house, so where she lived at the time. And he'll be doing an Instagram live from there uh, discussing this exciting new champagne. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Thank you for the translation. Yeah. Thank you, Elliot. So, so what's next? Do we do the the traders, the buyers want to discuss about the prices, or do we? Uh, yes. the... I think we have our correspondent from Atlanta, Philip. Philip, are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Uh, ah, uh, Philip. Let me to answer to Philip. Uh, we know Philip from two or three years. He start to uh, order a lot of bottle from Beaujolais, and this year he decide to work with the champagne. So this is the opportunity, Philip. Let's go. Hello, Philip. Philip, ah, we lost Philip. <laughs> I heard him. I can see him, and he's not muted. But Philip, Philip, maybe he lost the, the connection. Okay. Okay. Does anyone else have any other questions? No. No question. Now, the question was uh, from Constantine about the pricing of Champagne. Well, no, this is what uh, he said. He's also launching a powerful e-commerce platform, uh, and any Champagne producer could contact him, become part of the portfolio. C'est bon? Ah, c'est bon, tonton. Ah, ben voilà. voilà. Let's <laughs> go. Est-ce qu'il faut que je recommence en français ou en anglais? Uh... Come to the okay. So I was saying that I've been in the business for the last three years here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, mostly for the um, Georgia mar market. I've got a um, couple of distributors here in the in Georgia. Uh, I've been focusing mostly in the Rhone Valley with um, Cru du Beaujolais, Côte du Rhone, Côte du Ventoux, and I'm moving also to Corbier right now. And I would love to help my. I've been traveling to Champagne last year. I've got a couple of people that I know over there, and it's a wonderful region. Um, I love Champagne, like a lot of people, but it's not the easy sell. Okay, here in the U.S., where we're talking about the uh, average price of Champagne is over thirty dollars. Okay, uh, thirty-five, forty, thirty-nine, forty, forty-five, fifty, whatever. So it's expensive. Okay. Compared to our other other wines, so um, it can be done, of course, uh, but we need to work hard, and and I will try to help you uh, uh, as I can. Okay, all right. Alors en français, donc je suis à Atlanta depuis trois ans. Euh, normalement, je fais beaucoup de de, de business avec les Cru du Beaujolais, avec Côte du Rhône, Côte du Ventoux, et maintenant avec Corbière. J'aime bien aider mes mes amis donc de Champagne, bien entendu. C'est pas facile parce que bon, les bouteilles aux États-Unis de champagne sont aux alentours de 30, 35, 40, 50 dollars la bouteille, donc c'est pas c'est cher, c'est vrai. Donc c'est pas vraiment une vente facile, d'accord. Donc il faut mettre pas mal d'investissements au marketing, pas mal d'investissements au niveau de la dégustation aussi. Ma manière de travailler, par exemple, ce soir, je vais voir un, un, un restaurateur que vous avez connu, Pascal et à la PVSA chez Anis, Arnaud. Et donc, on va déguster des crus du Beaujolais. Donc, ça, c'est ma manière de travailler. Je vais voir directement les, les points de vente, les restaurateurs, et je leur fais déguster donc, euh, des vins. Et ça remonte directement chez le distributeur. D'accord Donc, voilà comment, comment je fonctionne aussi. Donc, voilà, c'est tout. Je parle français. français je, je suis aux États-Unis depuis 30 ans maintenant. Je connais bien le marché. Et puis, voilà. C'est tout. Et bonne chose à tout le monde. Merci beaucoup, Philippe. Compris. À très bientôt. À très bientôt. 
Merci, Philippe. Thank you. Anyone else would like to speak or have something to, have something to say? Constantine? Okay, so Pascal, we have... can, I, can I say okay. something, Pascal? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, ah, my God. Uh, hello, Pascal. Uh, we have an input, a new import program where we uh, offer wines, all the wines we represent at Excellus pricing, and we offer almost full, uh, almost container level shipping costs. If they want to, anybody wants to contact us and learn about it, they can contact me, Michael, at wpwineimports.com or 707-319-2137. I'm happy to discuss the program with you. Uh, low, low shipping costs and Excel is pricing on the wines. Thank you. Thanks, Pascal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my girl. So I think this is the end of the presentation. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. And we will have more series for the coming, uh, for the end of the month in October. So wines made in Amphora, rare grapes and rare wines. And also um, all the ladies winemakers. And what else do we have? Uh, yes, orange wines. Voila. <laughs> And we and have a few saying hi. Thank you. <laughs> Take good care of yourself. Thank, Thank you so much. It was very informative. Thank you. Thank you.